Hey, Mosey. Okay, so here we are, all bathed and groomed. So I'm going to take, start with um, double-sided thin scissors, um, which are these. Um, means they're they thin on both sides rather than cut on one. So I'm going to start by doing her shoulders because her coat is really thick there. So I'm going to just lift some top coat away and give it a comb down. Make sure just like there. I suspected there was a little knotty bit. There it goes with my famous oops mane and tail comb. Good girl, sit. Which is a horse comb. For mane, for pu it's a pulling comb for pulling the hair out of manes and tails, but it works wonderful just for taking the knots out of dogs, as you've seen just there. So. I'm going to lift the coat away from the body, put the thinner scissors in underneath and I'm going to make two cuts, one along the mid lengths, mid lengths is from here to ends. And then you just comb and it takes away the coat that you've just thinned. And we keep doing that for as much as you want. Thin scissors are great because you can't really go wrong with thin scissors. And if I look a bit cat candid holding them, for those of you who are professional groomers, it's because my fingers no longer work very well, so hence the reason of having to do this. So the coat, the um, scissors slip off my fingers because I have artificial joints which makes it very difficult to hold anything. Um, okay, so she's got a lot going on here. Probably doesn't look like it on camera. I always think on camera coats look less than they actually are. But already that's starting to feel better. Whether I stick with this or whether I clip her later on is another matter. We'll see how much difference this makes to her. You can see, as I'm doing the thin scissors, it doesn't particularly come away. It's a tiny bit in there. So it's as you comb. thinned will become apparent. And again, there's her chest hair. Raina, stop that. Excuse silly Raina in the background. She can hear voices outside and nobody's allowed to be outside talking at the minute. So she's going through a silly, difficult period. Stand, Mum. Good girl. Stay. Just gonna give this bit a brush out. Stand. She really is going through blowing coat because of the, the heat that we're experiencing at the minute. Um, it also doesn't help because my dogs have all chose to be down in their um, dog room, which is where they used to sleep. This is my grooming room really, which is the back part of a garage that we converted. But it's a very, um, it's a very, very cool room. It doesn't heat up at all. The rest of the house is like an oven in this temperature and they all prefer it down here except that it's very dusty so they scratch a lot more because it's dusty we tried everything to stop that unsuccessfully Mosey can you stand stay good girl so here I'm going to just lift a layer of top coat 
you can use clips to clip it up but as it's fairly long I'm just going to lift it and send it to the other side this is where you need a dog who doesn't shake every five seconds Shh. Good girls. okay so what I want to do is save now can you stand as much of that as possible good girl so I've lifted it out of the way I'm going to put the scissors in and I'm just going to do one cut on the mid lengths here and there you go and there lies the region that I struggle because everything falls repeatedly but hey ho we shall soldier on and of course they don't fit on my fingers the scissors very well because of my joints Stay mow, good girl. I know it's very warm. It's not ideal weather for doing this, but you can see how much coat is coming out. If I hold it there, it just allows me to pull it without pulling on her too much. I can cut that bit so I can leave that. Just making the coat thinner and thinner, and I can keep going as much as I want. Stay, Mosey. Good girls, just stay. Good girls, stand. Stay. Good girly. So. There is no real right or wrong other than you never put thin and scissors where the root is go from mid lengths to ends take a bit more off her legs here stand good now pull a little bit more hair down because I think I've been a bit generous in how much I've lifted and I really would like it to be as thin as it can go without stand good girl stand still <laughs> Stop it. Good girl. Stand still. Good girl. Okay, if I just show you this here, here is just what I've thinned. From this stay one section one side from shoulder to here okay so it's a lot less coat without the dog looking shape shaved and where you will notice it most a the dog will notice it and being cooler because you've taken an undercoat away where I hope to notice is in the common. Stand good girl. So just a bit 
tatty in there, which tells me that's just a bit too thick stand. Good girl. Tails come again. Stay. Good girl. Good girl. Do that back leg in a minute. It's a bit more than nothing. Mosey, can you stand? Good girl, stay. Can you shake? Shake. Good girl. Okay, let me look. Good girl, stay. There's a good girl. Thank you. Ah, so I'm going to take some more out of this shoulder just by lifting here because I can get a better feel for it as I lift it as to how much I'm taking. Stand up. Good girl. Stay. Stay. Good girl. Again, just a few snips. There we go. Let's turn. I can do this bottom back leg. Loosen this a bit so I can turn it. Okay, Mel. Stand. Good girl. Stay there. Stay. Good girl. Okay, sorry. Just getting the camera right for you so you don't miss. Again, I'm just lifting here because I can feel my thickness a bit better and let it drop and just slip in at the undercoat. And this area here on the back leg is an area I find gets very thick around her knee joint. Right, stay. Good girl. So, just gently going to tease out what I've just snipped. This is just from that leg on a few snips. Okay, from the knee. I'm going to take some more out of there. checking that my camera is still recording it has a tendency every now and again to switch itself off so stay good girl not around her hock or the main comb I'll do that I am going to clip her 
groin out and her armpits out so that I no longer have to do them with um, pulling her out of her stay. And I'm going to trim her feet up. I know the garden wants to take away those big feet, but right, turn. Good girl, stay. She's got a knotty bit under here. Now, if you have knots that aren't too close to the that aren't gone to the skin, like these ones, a really good way of dealing with them, rather than um, brushing them out or pulling them out, is just to snip behind it because it will just pull away. But obviously, if you're a show dog, this is not for show dogs. This is for a pet dog who you just want to keep looking like a TT but make it more comfortable. So don't get any ideas that thinning on your coat out is a good idea. Although you may have a show dog with excessive coat that you may need feel you need to do that to. 